Hi. Welcome to period two. This is my period two. Everybody's here. They're working very hard, preparing for the midterms, looking at videos that I made, and uh, they seem to be doing very well. I have Carly, just yawned. She's very tired, very sleepy. Ashley are my two audience members. And I want to do clothesline physics. Now, this is clothesline physics, where I have a load, 50 newton load in each one. Okay? 50 newton load in each one. Now, as this load, as this load as L sag, we're going to call it L sag, as L sag becomes larger, L sag, L sag, L sag. As L sag becomes larger, going up actually, the angle becomes smaller. Okay? As L sag becomes shorter, as L sag becomes shorter, the angle becomes larger. Okay? And what we want to know is, we want to we want to know what is that what effect is that going to have on the tension? We'll call it we'll call it force T. Okay? Force T. Force T. Force T. What effect is that going to have? Now, you need your calculators, right? Okay? We know that half the load is going to be, is going to be 25 newtons. So on all of these, this is going to be 25 newtons. It's hard to draw in on all of them. So, so the vertical, LS, we'll call LS. That's going to be the, the line. Okay? So we're going to say over here, LS has a force of 25 newtons. Can you see that? Does that come through on the thing? Who's that? Okay, does that come through? Thank you very much. Excellent. Does that come through here? Can you see that? Can you see that, Carly? Yes. Okay, so, so that's what that's going to be. All right, now, so on each one of these, each one of these, let's come up with an actual equation, like how do you do the equation for this? Well, we know from trigonometry that this, this, this LS, this line, is going to be adjacent. So LS is not a force, LS is just a line, okay? That line has a force of 25 newtons. So we know that that LS is going to be, is going to be adjacent, correct? So that's going to be, that's going to be, that's going to be cosine theta equals LS over FT. Okay? LS over FT, correct? Now, we're looking for FT, right? So if you're going to solve for FT, it's going to be LS, LS over cosine theta equals FT. All right? So we're going to write that over here. We're going to say that FT equals equals LS cosine theta. That's what we're going to say. Okay? Does that, does that make sense? Now, I'm going to make sure, I'm going to move the camera over a little bit. Okay? What I want you to do is to start setting up each equation. Okay? So in other words, in other words, this is going to be, this is going to be what? This is going to be uh, 25 divided by cosine 30. Right? 25 divided by cosine 60. 25 divided by cosine 89, and see if a pattern is developing, okay? See if a pattern is developing. I'm going to check the camera. Sorry about that shaking, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, do we have anything here? So let's, let's put it in. We have FT... Ft equals 25 cosine 30, okay? Ft equals 25 cosine 60, right? Then this one's going to be down here. This one's going to be, it's going to be Ft, Ft equals 25 cosine 89, okay? Ft cosine 89, all right? So what is Ft going to be for each of these values? What's Ft going to be? What is 25 
divided by cosine 30. Do we have an answer for that? They're calculating. They're doing very well. As I always love to say, their calculators are more powerful than the one that landed a man on the moon. Unbelievable. And I have two working for me. I can go to the moon twice. I might be able to go to Mars. Many people say I'm from Mars. Do we have an answer yet? 25 divided by cosine 30. What is it? 162. 162? Is that correct? I got 28. Okay, so let's let's double check. Let's do a let's do a double check here. So 25, 25 divided by cosine 30 equals 29. Is that what you got? 29. Okay. So that's 29. That equals 29 newtons. Now that's kind of interesting because, because if each one is 29, if each line is 29, there's a total of what? 58 newtons holding up that 50 newton object. Not a very effective way of doing business, isn't it? So the, this is the this is you know as as this line becomes as LS becomes shorter and shorter, I think you're going to have to double check to make sure that the line you're using can hold the load. You don't buy the line based on based on the load. You bet you buy the line to hold up the load based on the angle and how much the tension is going to actually be because of the load and the angle. The angle here, the angle with the vertical. Okay. So, do we have 25 cosine 60? Do we have that yet? 50. It's 50. It's 50, and that's that's insignificant. In other words, what angle here? What angle with the vertical will give you a tension that's equal to the load in each line? And the answer is 60 degrees. Okay. The answer is 60 degrees. So it's 50 newtons. So, so. That line is holding 100 newtons, correct? Total, correct? 50 on each side. A little weird, huh? Okay, now, what about 89? What about, what about 25 divided by cosine 89? Yes? 1,000, just round that off. 1,432 1, newtons. Now, that's incredible, don't you think? That's why it's important to put a bit of a slack here in the line, isn't it? You see that? I, you know, I've been teaching physics my entire adult life, except for the five years I went to college and worked in industry. And I find about five or six things amazing in physics. This is one of them. That the smaller that LS is, the larger this angle is, the greater the load here. So you're, what's two times one, four, three, two? Two, eight, six, four, right? So two, what did I say? Two six eight four, okay. Two eight six, two six, two eight six four. Correct. That's unbelievable. Twenty six hundred newtons to hold up fifty. Does that make any sense to you whatsoever? So if I'm going to go to the store and buy line to hold up fifty newtons, I better be sure that it can hold a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Okay, what is, what is 1,432 divided by 2? 1,432 divided by 50. 1,432 divided by 50. So 28, I need rope that will hold up 28 times the load. You're kidding. Isn't that amazing? Okay, yes? Now we're going to come back for part 2, and I want to do something else with clothesline physics. But that, it's not important that necessarily you can do a word problem to solve for the tension in the line. That's important, but that's not why I'm doing this problem. I'm doing this problem so you can see how that tension increases as that angle increases. Clear? I'll be right back.